Now, to help explain the states of matter, one can bring up the water cycle. In the water cycle, there are the two states of matter represented. You can see evaporation and condensation. Now, remember, water never disappears. This includes any type of liquid form, your sweat, your spit. It just merely changes its states of matter, how it looks. Again, evaporation to condensation, it literally goes up in the clouds. Now, the water cycle is our planet's way of reusing water. Did you know that over 75% of our planet is covered in water? Hence, our planet earned the nickname, the Blue Planet. Now, what happens when the sun beats down on water? Well, the water cycle begins. First again, evaporation. This is where the liquid turns into gas. Now, we have condensation. So it goes up, water form, and this is where the gas turns into liquid. It's moved by the clouds, and then it comes down in the form of precipitation, where it returns to the Earth in the form of rain, snow, hail, and sleet. Now, bear in mind, our oceans are the biggest area where water evaporates, but salt does not evaporate. It stays on the Earth, and just the fresh water comes up. So this cycle constantly repeats itself. I mean, you might want to think twice about singing in the rain. I Maybe you could be swallowing spit from a dinosaur from a million years ago. Think about it.